ready well this year instead of making a um vision board i've decided to make a prayer board and i'm actually making it at night because i have just been postponing and postponing and not finding time for it and so i decided you know what i'll just make it at night and that's what i'm about to do right now um put together my prayer board In fact, they put one R um, in the little packets of um, sticking letters that I bought. Um, they're so cheap. I think they're like 11 Rand or whatever. And um, they stick nicely. So you just unpeel the little thingy and then stick it on your board. Um, but yeah, I ran out of R's. So I had to improvise and I used permanent marker. Hey guys, so it's the next day. It is the next day. I got a little bit drowsy last night from pain medication, but we are carrying on with the prayer board. So I didn't finish last night. After putting the flowers down, I just had to go to sleep. But another thing that you need to get for your prayer board is envelopes. So I got like two colors, like nice and bright since my board is like brown. That's why I like got like um, colorful letters and colorful flowers just to bring it out and so I got envelopes um, they're also like 11 Rand whatever so you don't have to get like fancy ones these are this will do and so on the envelopes I'll be writing whatever I'm praying for so I've got like personal so you can see ooh there we go personal uh, family <laughs> uh, praise reports so I'm gonna make more and I'm gonna stick them on the board and then I'm gonna write on these little cards on these little cards I'm gonna write my prayers and I'm gonna fold it up fold it up and then put it in the envelope and then I'm gonna stick it right side up so I'm able to open up and take out whatever prayer is in there um so one one i'm not going to share all the all the all the subheadings i have for the different prayers that i want to do um but one one that i'm going to share that's very important is the one for answered prayers the one for answered prayers it will be on the side and if whatever prayer is in there and it's been answered if it was a request I will move it and um, take the prayer out and put it in the answered envelope. Uh, one thing, and I saw this from a, a content, another content creator, she said that she wanted to have one for prayer requests and I would love to do that as well. 
um, for everyone around me who has a prayer request so I can also pray for other people because I think it's important for us to intercede on behalf of our friends, our family and the people around us, you know. So I'm going to carry on. So I'm nearly done with my board. We're going to move on after this. We're just going to move over to um, Bible journaling and I'm going to share the Bible that I will be using for this year. Okay, so we're just going to stick them up and I'll write the rest of the things off camera, you know, because some things are just between God and I, you know, um, they nod to be shared with everybody. Um, so yeah, that's how it's going to go. I was made to realize that um, it's also important for me to make my vision board so I am going to make a vision board after this um, definitely not gonna be part of the video but I'm definitely going to make a vision board um, I was just made to realize that my prayer board is what I am giving to God and I'm asking from God but you know if I'm asking to lose weight if it's part of my prayer board that I want to lose weight, which I do, <laughs> um, I need to eat healthy and I need to exercise. And I, on my vision board, I can have that, you know, healthy food and um, exercising and that, you know, something that I'll see every day and it will remind me that, hey, you need to exercise because obviously I cannot say, Oh Lord, please help me lose weight and I just sit and every day eat junk, you know? So I'm definitely gonna be making that vision for to Bible journaling um, my plan this year is to read the entire Bible in a year last year when I got the Bible in a year oh gosh I don't know why I didn't bring it with me here um, I I wasn't consistent at all I would read I wouldn't read and obviously I got it in the middle of the year and so I didn't start it didn't just feel you know so now I started with the year um, and ooh is wrong there we go 
I, I struggle to make this thing nice and straight. But, um, so I'm using a couple of Bibles to do my Bible journaling. So I'm going to show you. It's the Bible in, the, in a year, which has different verses for the day. So on the 7th of, let's just say the 7th of January, there will be a verse from Genesis and then a verse from Matthew and a verse from Psalm. Not a verse, man, a chapter. A chapter from 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 genesis a chapter from um matthew and a chapter from psalm and a, a chapter from proverbs and so every day i i get to read that and by the 31st of uh december i would have finished the entire bible but i actually want to journal and so this is a bible that i'm using to journal this year um it's called my promise bible there it is um, it's in King James Version, but I really don't mind it because I do have a, um, a smaller Bible which is like um, New King James Version and also on the Bible app um, On the Bible app, you know, there are all types of versions, but hey, I need to warn everybody out there We need to be very careful. I saw a TikTok where they were talking about the fact that um Matthew 17 verse 21 is not in every Bible, right? Um, and so I checked all the Bibles that we have in this house. You know, the one the one that says um, some come out through fasting and prayer. I think that is Matthew 17 verse 21. Hope I'm not wrong. If I'm wrong, I'll correct myself down here. Um, I've looked through all the Bibles, well, except this one. <laughs> Spider. <laughs> went inside my bible like what is going on anyway um i looked through all the bibles in the house and that verse is there but then i went onto the bible app on the phone and i found that in certain i'm not sure if it was a asv but a certain um version of the bible does not have matthew 21 verse 17 it's just, it's just crazy. It's something that we need to look out for. The Bible is being altered. I believe that we should just buy Bibles now. My mom told me to just buy a Bible a long time ago. I feel like we should just buy Bibles now, a whole lot of them, because five years from now, the Bible will be different from what it is. But anyway, I will tell you if I find it here. Um, and I got these uh, tabs, Bible tabs. I don't know if you can see. It's upside down. You're... You know, it's got the Genesis, um, you know, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, you know, the vibes, Judges, Joshua, Ruth, First Samuel, Second Samuel, and you know, so that you know where to go to when you want to go there. Um, I love cute things, and the reason why is that I want to do this for me, it's mainly because. I'll be encouraged to pick up the Bible all the time. Let me just show you how the Bible is inside. So it's like a coloring Bible as well, you know. Look at that. It's just beautiful. Love the way it's written. Like, can you see that? So there's space here to journal. Um, what I'm planning to get is what those uh, transparent um, sticky notes because in that way you know you can sometimes make mistakes so in that way if it's a transparent sticky note you can just put it over here right over the words and then you can circle on the transparent thingy so if you make a mistake you can just take it out put on another one you know so yeah and they, they don't they, they're also not that expensive um, but I don't have them as yet and you know I'll be coloring in and just doing all that so right now I'm just gonna put in the tabs and I also just have these to like underline and highlight what I need to highlight and and that so I'm very excited uh, I've never really um, journaled in my Bible I've always looked at people's Bibles and look at them and they're so thick and you can tell that this person has been reading their Bible and they've been going over it and whatever revelation they find they stick it in and that's what I'm planning to do this year by the end of the year I want this Bible to be woo to be very you know <laughs> there is a certain Bible I think it's called the I forgot what it's called oh that is my dream Bible I wish I could get that one as well um 
my birthday is coming up soon everybody who knows me and loves me uh, I will write down what the name of the Bible is down here I love the Bible um, it, yeah it is quite pricey but I'm turning a big age this year so if you feel led if you feel led who super thanks me over there watch all the what you call it watch all the ads so your girl can buy the Bible <laughs> Okay, let's put the things inside of here, the tabs, let's put the tabs, okay? girl that struggles to draw a straight line with a ruler and so I'm not gonna do this I'm gonna wait for help um, I can't even cover books I think I've shared this before because look at this I'm not liking how it's going I will show you just now it's a bit of a mess and so um, I prefer to have help because I've already used uh, uh, the Genesis and and an exodus and I, I don't like the way it's sticking um but yeah this is how it looks it looks doesn't look pretty you see that i struggle with being straight and everything like that so i'm just gonna wait um for help um and as soon as help comes um my bible will be intact but i've got extra ones the bible came with um with its own tabs at the back so I can just use these if those ones don't look so great. Um, I hope they will not uh, damage the Bible. I can just resort to these ones because they are also very cute. Actually, I don't know. Please let me know, guys, which ones are nicer. These ones, you see, I don't know if it's focusing these ones. So now I thought I liked these. So I didn't know the Bible comes. I thought I liked these. But now I think, oh, it's not focusing. Ne? Let's see. So please let me know in the like down there in the comments if I should use these ones or oh lord my Bible or if I should use these ones. I'm like now. Um, I think, I'm, I think I want to use this one. <laughs> I think I want to use these ones. I'll use these in another Bible. I think the ones that came with the Bible are perfect. And so I don't know if I'll be able to remove the ones that I've put here already so I can carry on with these. No, I think I'm loving these. Definitely, definitely loving those. Um, let's see if I can remove them. Yo, hi! It's stuck. It's it's really stuck. Um, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. 
we'll see we'll see we'll see how i fix it <laughs> but i'm not liking it i think i might just take a pair of scissors and just cut here and then stick this over so um i last year i made a vision board and i didn't finish it i remember i didn't finish it but um I made a vision board and I was working towards it to be honest with you uh, with the weight because weight was a big thing and I had started but life got very complicated somewhere in the middle of the year like extremely complicated that I gained back all the, like I had lost five kilograms already gained back the five kilograms with some change so i think i gained close to 10 kilograms as i was watching last week's video um like i could see a piece of flesh like out there and i'm like yo what's going on my body like suffers from that and so i know that it's important that you know life throws things at you you can make plans you can write your vision and then life throws things at you i think it's important one of the biggest prayers that i want to have is that no matter what life throws at me I should keep going with the dream if it's reading then i need to read if it's running i need to run it doesn't matter how life like i'll tell you this life can bring you to your knees and for me last year i think from june july it literally got me to my knees where i struggled to to follow through i think the only thing i was able to follow through was through with was reading and that was an escape to be honest with you um and so one of the biggest prayers i have is that it doesn't matter what life throws at me it doesn't matter you know i still need to work towards those dreams and so that's why you know now i'm thinking no it's very important for me to have that vision board and not a digital one because the digital one didn't really work out for me a real board that will be up on my wall where i'm reminded every day you know to be honest with you i'm giving weight in as an example because that's something that i'm willing to share um sheesh my body suffers my body suffers so much my joints my everything is just going through the most because it's it's unnatural honestly to go from a size 30 to a 42 and i think people who've met me here on youtube just know me as a size 40 you know so it's like hi this one is talking nonsense but those that really know me before <laughs> youtube they know that before 35 i was super super small and this has it has transcended it's beyond it's beyond self-esteem this is a health issue right now and so i can pray about it i can put it in my personal prayer saying that you know i need to lose weight but i need that vision board to see what is my goal what do i want to look like and what is it that i'm going to do to get there yes i need prayer i need god to help me through through everything that you know it doesn't matter what life throws at me i still need to wake up and run <laughs> i still you know it doesn't matter what life throws at me I, I i can't be sitting somewhere and drinking and drinking uh, 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 very sweet coffees every day i need to substitute them for smoothies it doesn't matter i can't resort to um uh what's this i can't resort to emotional eating so it's it's I think it's a prayer that every one of us should have that it doesn't matter what life throws at us because it's so much easier to say that this and this and this and this and that happened and the reason and that's the reason why I wasn't able to follow through with everything else and sometimes you know when we give our reasons you'd be like oh oh my gosh oh my gosh you'll be shocked but there'll be reasons every year every year there'll be something so i think our biggest prayer i hope i'm making sense because i feel like i'm all over the show um but our biggest prayer so let me just close it up in a way that will make sense our biggest prayer should be that whatever life throws at us whether it's happiness whether it's sadness whether it's challenges or wins because all of these things can distract us. A win can distract you. A loss can um, can distract you. Every it, like everything and everything in its extremes can distract you. But I, I think our biggest prayer this year should be that whatever life throws at us, we should still stick to the dream, stick to our goals, 
whatever they are and keep going keep them going i know there are people who don't believe in vision boards and prayer boards and all of that but there's a verse in the bible yes the verse is in habakkuk 2 verse 2 <laughs> um, and the lord then the lord answered me and said write down your vision and inscribe it clearly on tablets you know so yeah um i believe it's very important for us to write, uh, write our vision down um let lord let the let our lord read it and run with it you know anyway thank you so much for joining me i'll see you next time bye